I love ultrawide monitors, but I've always had an issue with managing multiple windows and apps that led me to still prefer having multiple displays instead. Sure, the built-in window snap feature helps, or there's some third-party tools to manage your windows, but I never found them to work quite right or be fast enough for my needs. That is until I found Display Fusion and the improved Tube Chrome plugin that have forever changed my experience with window management on ultrawide displays. Hi, I'm David, and this is how I get the most out of my ultrawide for everyday productivity. So there are a couple workflows that are key when I'm on the computer. General web browsing with a single window in the middle, multitasking with a YouTube video on the side, doing some video edits in Adobe Premiere with a script for reference, quickly maximizing Premiere to focus only on video editing, and sometimes just start tiling a bunch of Explorer windows to move files around. Everything I just did there was done in real time, and I'm able to do this by creating smaller virtual windows for my one large display. Combined with customizable keyboard shortcuts, I can quickly switch to a virtual single, dual, or even triple display setup whenever I need without all the bezels. Something that I feel works even better than having multiple physical displays. So my struggles in the past using a large ultrawide display was due to Windows management tools being either too limited or slow to use in the real world. Sure, Windows 10 has a built-in snap feature to split your app to the left, right, or corners, but I can't really customize beyond that. In Display Fusion, you can create virtual monitors of any size and location. I find myself using the single-centered window setup the most on my ultrawide. That might sound like a waste of space, but I don't find browsing the web really benefits from a wide aspect ratio, and this way I keep everything centered in my field of view, with other apps like my music player off to the side. And while there are plenty of other Windows management applications from Dell, LG, or other third parties, I really hate how most of them force the windows to always be maximized to the virtual spaces. Whereas with Display Fusion, I can still manually cascade smaller windows and just maximize them when I need to, with either the Windows Maximize button in the corner or double clicking the title bar like I normally would do. I also find third party apps don't usually have built in keyboard shortcuts to quickly switch between virtual monitor profiles. In Display Fusion, I've created shortcuts such as Control Shift 1 for single display mode, Control Shift 2 for an offset side by side mode, Control Shift 3 for triple display mode, and so on. Also, at any time I can hold shift while maximizing the window to override the virtual monitor and maximize to the entire display. These small features found in Display Fusion have greatly improved my ultrawide experience, but it isn't perfect. First, it's pretty pricey at $30 regular price, but I recommend you first download the free 30 day trial to make sure it works for you before you commit. But I waited until it went on sale and bought it through Steam for about $10, which was totally worth it. Setting it up the first time can be a little confusing since the application is really robust and can do a lot more than just create virtual monitors. I'm not going to cover how I set it up in this video, but I've added a link in the description below that might help, or I'll leave a comment below if you're still having trouble and I'll try to help. But once it's all set up, it's really easy to use. Also applications that have a special full screen mode when truly exclusive don't kick in when maximizing to these virtual monitors. Instead they'll continue to work as if they're in windowed mode. And that also means maximizing videos will still take over the entire screen, and the same goes for full screen games. But at least for YouTube, I found a partial solution. I always hated that YouTube videos never took up the full width of the window and left black bars on the side. But I found a plugin called ImproveTube that fixes that for me. So even if I don't maximize my YouTube videos, it still goes edge to edge on the window instead of leaving black bars on the side. So that's a quick look at a couple changes to my workflow that have really changed my experience with using an ultrawide display. And now I actually prefer a single ultrawide over a multi-display setup. The ability to dynamically switch to a virtual single, dual, or even triple setup without the mess of bezels is fantastic. While this won't satisfy some people who need to run exclusive full screen games, apps, or videos on a second display, for my needs, Display Fusion and the Proof 2 plugin have addressed most of the issues I've had with a large single ultrawide monitor. Plus, you can still add a smaller second display on top of this entire setup if you really need it. But hope you guys enjoyed this one. You know what to do, and I'll see you in the next video.